you may be asking yourself, what is this peculiar place? This is Dick and Jane's spot. Dick and Jane's spot is a house, art gallery, and art studio. Dick Elliott and Jane Orleman bought the house in 1978. We bought it. It was the worst. It was the second worst house in town. You know, you gotta have standards. That's Jane Orleman. Dick Elliott passed away in 2008, but Jane still lives at the house creating art and showcasing her and her husband's work. We, we both graduated from Central BA in art, you know, after Dick graduated. He was doing graphic drawings, all in graphite. When we got this place, we started doing little things in the yard, and pretty soon he was nailing reflectors on, you know, posts and just sort of decorating posts. And the next thing he knew, he'd taken the reflectors into the studio and was gluing them to paintings. And so the, the yard really affected his studio work. And it transformed the house as well. There are thousands of bottle caps and reflectors on the property. Many times I've had people tell me, when I came to interview for a job at Central, they brought me by here as, you know, kind of showing off the community. And when I saw this place, I thought, oh, I can live here. I'm not too strange to live here. <laughs> it's been interesting how many people have kind of contacted me through the Dick and Jane spot and said, the first art I saw was your house, and it's given me a love of art. Pe people could experience art without going to museums and galleries. It was just right there, and they didn't have to make the decision, I like art, therefore I'll go to the gallery. You know, so it was there for them to discover. It creates an understanding that it arts for everyone.